Hey guys, Quad here. Welcome back to Jeans Cuber. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the pyramids. Alright guys, we're back to tutorials. Yay, finally. I mean, like, I'm excited because, like, it was a long time since I made a tutorial. So I started to decide that I have to start making uh, side events as well and even 4x4 because I'm really sorry for the background noise because some work is going on inside my house and I'm recording in my room I'm really sorry about that but uh, so as we were saying that it's been a long time since I recorded a tutorial and I decided that it will be WCA events and I'm gonna record a cube tutorial as well but I thought Pyraminx has a more famous cube so more than I'll make a Pyraminx tutorial so let's start with the Pyraminx and if you wanna buy a Pyraminx then you can just look for look out for like a cube like this I, my Pyraminx is a budget cube it's like about I got it free with my 5x5 not free exactly I got it with my 5x5 and you can go for oh my god I hate that noise and you can go for an easy like a good pyramid because mine one has really strong magnets and it's really fine it's really not that bad okay so first of all there is only one algorithm that you need to learn in a pyramid unless you want to do it not in the intuitive way or the normal way and plus also I'm using a different mic now I'm not using my earphones now because I got a mic and this is going to be a different video so first of all you need to learn the algorithm and the notation of this cube and so notation is pretty easy if you know 3 by 3 and actually you don't need to know the 3 by 3 to solve this cube okay so uh, you can uh, take these uh, there are three senders in this cube there are three senders these okay let me use green as a better reference because many of you don't have pink I have pink you might have red okay so you will have a uh, green uh, you have three senders this one this one and this one you can differentiate by the pyramids over here these are the tips you have four corners and then you have um, like like you have more centers but I'm talking about one side you have three corners uh, three centers and three edges these are the edges these are the centers and these are the chips also known as corners and so um, these are the chips so all right so now back to the notation this is the R notation like the R pyramid so this is R and this is R prime and then this is the U pyramid you can like call it as U prime and then L pyramid L L prime and then the B pyramid this one B and B prime that's the pyramid and then those are the tips now usually you, you show the pyramids with capital letters and you show the tips with the some like lowercase letters and that's why you can like you can understand while scrambling like let me just show you a scramble of a pyramid i'm really sorry about the noise guys because i know it's getting on your nerves because it's someone working i'm really sorry about that all right kale timer it is like so you can just have a different timer you can go to pyramids um pyramids yeah you can see these scrambles like these scrambles have lowercase and uppercase letters wow you can see me also you can see my tripod hi <laughs> all right so that's a, that's how you tell which one you need and uh, yeah so welcome to the tutorial now. so we'll do the tutorial now so first of all let's uh, let's learn the algorithm it is known as it is also known as sledgehammer it is r prime l r l prime so you can also tell it as you can also tell it as right down left down right up left down yeah that's what i usually learned uh, on the pyramix it's like like that and yeah so that's the only algorithm you need to learn right now like this that's all easy right i know all right so we'll scramble up the cube now so we'll scramble up the cube now 
I'll just get a scramble. Yeah, I'll just write it down for you guys. Uh, like on the screen, you can just copy the scramble. Or it's here, you can just copy it from here as well. So I usually like to scramble with green on front, red, blue on left, and pink slash red on left. Alright, copy the scramble. Right, scrambling up. Okay, so let's start. And uh, first of all is the easiest step, which is you need to align the tips to the color of the matching thing, which will be like this. So it's matched like kind of like this. So how you can do that is uh, you can just go for a tip over here. You can see which color is there. So you can align it like that. And then you can go for another tip. You can align that. And then you can just align the other chip. And if you have one more, you can align that as well. So that's the first step, which is really easy. Ah, yeah. So next up, we have uh, the centers. So now you need to align the centers. These are the center pieces. Uh, so how you do that is you can just go for any color. You can start with the easiest that you think. I usually started with... I was color I was usually color neutral so you can start with any color in front of you so right now I see blue is in front of me so you can just start spinning this and you can keep spinning unless you get the blue center aligned then you can start spinning this and you get it aligned so there might also be a case in which you can't see anyone aligning like this one has no pink like that and so what you can do is you can you will find it in the bottom layer over here so you can find it then you can just spin this whole layer like this so that it aligns and then you can just put them down so you'll have it learn like this yeah so that's the second step third step is to insert the edges into where they need to go so look for the edge so suppose you did pink down so i know pink might be very annoying for you guys so i'll just switch to blue so we're done with blue and then so you can look for an edge that has blue on it for example this edge it has blue on it so you look for the other color on it so the other color on this one is pink right here so you can just take it to you can align this with the, the center so this is aligned and then how you insert it is you just put suppose it's over here then you can do this you can do r u prime r prime easy see r u prime r prime so it's one edge is done so you can look for the other edge you'll find another edge now for example it's on this side then you do l prime u l so the one algorithm is r u prime r u prime r prime and the other one is l u prime l L prime U L. So there might be a case in which you find these uh, pieces on the down. So what you can do for that is you can just do any of those algorithms. It'll come out, and then you can just insert it. Done. You're done with the first layer. So practice this first layer for some time, and then you'll understand how to do it. So next up, we have the last case, the last edges. So what you can do for this is the algorithm that I taught you. So you can just so you can just check for a uh, so you can align these. Uh, it's okay. So you just align these centers with the pieces that they are, and then you can check for an unsolved piece. So you can see that. Uh, so you can see that there are no unsolved pieces. You can just do the algorithm, and then you can just put this right in. So you can see right here you might get a case like this so you look for an unsolved edge which is not colored with anything so for example this one is colored with this but now with this this one is colored with this so these both are solved and this one is unsolved you can see that it's not colored with anyone so you put it in the back over here and then you can just do that algorithm uh, okay, so I'm really sorry I messed up a bit. So you have to do right down, left down, right up, left up, and there's another one, left down. Uh, 
the other uh, so there's another one which is left down right down left up right up which is also like l r prime l prime r okay uh, okay so right now you can see that uh, whichever unsolved it so this one is solved so you don't do this algorithm on this if it's over here then you do r prime l or l prime and then this edge will come out and then uh, one of the edges will come out so you can just align that and you can put it in there we go the cube is solved all right there are different cases also let me show you them so you might get a case something like this so what you can do for that is the same algorithm or you can do the left one as well which will help in getting this case and then you can just look for the unsolved dead this is unsolved you keep it like this but now this time you see that the this one is unsolved one the solved one is over here so the unmatching one is over here so what you do is left down right down left up right up which is also known as l r prime l prime r now once you're done you will see that the edges come out you align it you just put it in and the cube is solved so there we go guys that's all for this tutorial i know it's pretty long compared to a cube which i can solve within like 10 seconds anyways that's pretty much it for today's video if you enjoyed it like the video comment down below what you want next subscribe to my channel and keep keeping until then and g bye